Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to show you how to test service workers on a real device using Quarkus as a web server. So how to do that? Uh, first, I will need uh, the, a, a project first, a Quarkus project, and this is going to be an empty one. So um, the artifact ID is going to be WS for web server and no extensions and the project should be empty. So now switch to the project and then open the project with Visual Studio Code. What I also will need is the um, terminal. So uh, first, the most important thing is uh, you should set up here the host. You should allow Quarkus to um, to accept connections from everywhere. Otherwise, it won't be accessible from the device just for, just from localhost. So that's the f first thing which has to happen. And then I would, or I have, to create a folder, the a web server root, and this works with uh, make their source main resources, then meta inf, and then resources again. So and because we are already in the terminal, I think it's easier to create three files from the terminal, and I would like to use the USD touch command and this is index html then uh, we also need the app.js where the application logic um, is hosted or in our case where the service worker is actually registered and then we need the service worker so okay uh, now we have it so let's see so the app.js is going to use to register the service worker so navigator dot service worker dot register and the name of the service worker script we can actually go the javascript way is sw.js then the uh, service worker is empty so console log is going to be hello world and the index html uh, contains a title so let's go with the title then I would like to have h1 hello service workers and then what we need we have to load our application logic and the script is in app.js so this is our application so let's run the application compile Quarkus dev and um, so I should be able to get the application with localhost, which is less interesting today. Yeti is the host name of uh, my machine. If I do this, I get the HTML page, which is fine. So, okay, now I will try to access the page from my smartphone, which um, you don't see, but it worked. Uh, but let's try the following. So in order to debug the um, application, what I will need to do is, I will need to, that's exactly uh, what I see on my mobile phone, to, um, this is the test phone, and I would like to see the ET page. And this is the page, almost, what you see here, I have an error, and the error says, uh, navigator service worker register undefined is not an object, uh, which is a nice error, it means navigator service worker doesn't exist. What's the problem? The problem is um, the service worker only exists uh, in SSL context. So we are no more on localhost, so it's impossible to access service worker from outside without SSL. So let's try to fix that. So how to do this? Um, so we need SSL and uh, what we also need is uh, a key store or we would need uh, a key. But I think the easiest possible way is to use the Java tool called key tool. So let's use it. So this is the key tool, and this is pre-configured, pre-configured, so it already uses RSA. Uh, the name of the file is keystore.jks. Most important thing is the password, Java Duke, and the validity is uh, one year. So um, let's go ahead and create it. Uh, first name is Adam Bean, and organization unit is, what's my unit? Uh, research and development, probably, or um, fun unit. Uh, Airhex, of course, is my organization. And city is uh, Munich, um, Bavaria, DE, and yes, I'm happy. 
So it created the uh, key store JKS, and then I will have to move or oh, move key store JKS to source main resources. It should be at the same level as the application properties. So, and in the application properties, now we can say, I would like to have SSL, SSL port, and uh, I would like to use the native one. Then what I also need is, Quarkus is the um, key store file, I think it is uh, SSL, and this is a key store file. And in our case, it's key store dot JKS. Um, and this basically it. So we have the uh, keys. Oh, um, we need something else. We also need the password. And the password was Java Duke. So now we, I hope, are ready to go. So I would like to kill Quarkus because the port changed. So, um, and uh, I could use compile Quarkus dev again. So, and let's see whether it works better right now. And uh, what I have to do is I have to change it to SSL. And uh, I have to confirm on the device that I'm using a self-signed certificate. So, uh, so visit the page and I see the page. So let's see what happens. So back to the browser and uh, we go to develop menu, T phone, and there are two Yetis because one is SSL and the other isn't. And if we go to the console right now, we see there is no more errors and the service workers are available from T phone service workers ET. So if I switch to ET uh, and to the console, you see here, hello world. So this is the message from service worker. So it seems to work. So um, thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences. Enjoy service workers, web components. And um, yeah, bye.